for weather every few minutes here and Kirsten standing by in the Weather Center. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Well, we are looking at that chance for some storms later on tonight. This morning, as we're waking up, though, things are pretty quiet for us here. We have mostly cloudy skies, temperatures at 74 degrees and winds that are coming in out of the south right now, about 15 miles per hour. You take a look at the dew points, though. They're getting up there. We're seeing those dew points in the 60s and 70s today. Right now, dew points here in, uh, in Tulsa, right around 64 degrees. That's just an indication of how much moisture we have in the air. The moisture, of course, one of those ingredients that we need in order to have those severe storms develop. So temperatures across the area this morning, definitely warm for this time of year. Low to mid 70s is what we're waking up to. 74 here in Tulsa, Bartlesville, 70 in Pryor and Tahlequah. Uh, and again, what we're going to watch for is this warm moist air coming up from the south, but then also we have that dry line that's going to set up off towards the west. So our best chance for seeing these severe storms initially start up is going to be off towards the far western portion of the state. Here's how it's looking on the future track throughout the day today. We'll look for a few scattered showers possible, mainly towards the southeastern corner of the state there, and it won't be until the evening later on closer to 8 to 9 p.m. that we watch for storms move in towards the area, move in towards the Tulsa area and green country that at that point. So it's a later event for us here than what we're typically used to. These storms as they move through, there is that chance for them to become severe or maintain that severe status as they move through the area. And if they do, uh, again, we're looking at the threat for um, hail and wind really is being the main threats for us here. Risk for tornadoes in this area just a little bit lower. Here's how it's looking from the Storm Prediction Center. It's actually backed off. We were under that enhanced risk here in Tulsa. Now we're under the slight risk. So the enhanced risk has moved off towards the west where we're expecting that dry line to start up. Again, those storms move towards our eastern portions of the state then throughout the evening coming in closer to about 8 to 9 p.m. towards our area. But at that point, we're under that slight risk. Uh, as far as the tornado potential, it is greater off towards our west as well. They're looking about a 10% chance here in Tulsa, only about a 2% chance of seeing a tornado. So that's why we're expecting hail and wind really to be our main threats. Here's our hail. We're actually under about a 15% chance of seeing that uh, severe hail potential here. Now, as we move through Thursday, there's going to be another chance for seeing severe storms. So here's Thursday on our future track early in the morning. A couple showers, possibly a few storms embedded with that. Uh, our best risk for severe weather, though, will be later on in the afternoon after some of these storms move out and then a second wave pushes through. Uh, that's going to be again right around five o'clock or so. We'll see a few of those storms move through on Thursday. So that's our second round of potential severe weather. With that, we're right on the edge of a marginal and slight risk. Looks like our best chance for seeing those severe storms will be a little bit towards the east and then even up towards the northeast there. So again, today's high is going to be closer to 84. We'll look for that chance for storms later on tonight. Tomorrow, 82 degrees. Then it backs off, and the weekend really is looking pretty good. We're going to see 70s on Friday, 80s on Saturday and Sunday, and things are really uh, relatively quiet for us for Friday through Tuesday of next week. Scott?